Hey there, this is Seth, and in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a mail merge for a direct mail campaign using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Now, I'm using the Microsoft Office 2016 for this, and I'm also on a Mac, so just keep that in mind. I know sometimes Microsoft switches things up a little bit, and they, they take certain functions and, and move them around to some other place. So I'm going to just take you through how that process looks in this version of both of those programs, but just keep in mind, if you're looking at this in the future with a different version of Office, or if you're using a previous version of Office, you may have to hunt around just a little bit to find these same functions. So just keep that in mind. But when it comes to doing a mail merge, you can do this with pretty much any kind of direct mail, whether you're using postcards or letters or some other type of mail piece. But for what I'm doing here, this is for blind offers that we're sending out to owners of vacant land. That's the specific purpose we're talking about here. And really, whatever your purpose is, if you need to do a mail merge, you go through these same basic steps. So if you want to just follow along, this right here is my letter template. And this is not the exact wording. This is just kind of a... a blank form and I've changed around a lot of this. If you want the actual boilerplate template that I use, you can download that at the bottom of this blog post. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just so you know, there's a link beneath this video. If you click on that link, you can go and find the place at the bottom of the blog post where you can download this. But the first step you have to do is first of all, just open up whatever template you decide to use. And in this example, you know, this is all just sort of like blank placeholder stuff. You'd go ahead and fill out your company name and address and all that info. But once you get down here to the body of the message, there's going to be certain parts throughout this template that you want to sort of fill in the blank with certain pieces of information that are going to pull from an Excel spreadsheet. So what you would do is first of all, go up here to this tab where it says mailings and we're going to click on start mail merge. Click on that. We're going to click on letters and then we have to choose the recipients. In other words, we have to choose the spreadsheet that we want to use as our source for the data that gets plugged into this template. So let's go ahead and click on this and then we're going to use an existing list. And in this case, I've got a Excel file that I already have completely sorted and filtered and ready to go. You would just find it. And this is the file that I'm looking for right there. And I will click open and you might get this kind of warning or something. Just go ahead and click OK. And I want this to pull from everywhere in the entire worksheet. So I'm going to just going to click OK here. And just so you know, this right here is the spreadsheet that I'm working with right now. And what I want to do is pull information from certain things that I have designated up here at the top. So when we go back here to this section, the first merge field that I want to insert here is for the date. So what I did here is I'm assuming that all these letters are going to reach the recipients either on January 26 or shortly after January 26. So that's why that date is plugged in here for every single one of these recipients. So I'm going to go over here and highlight date. We're going to click insert merge field and we're going to say offer date. That's what's going to go in there. And then likewise, the next thing here that I want to insert is the owner's name, address, city, state, and zip code. So we're going to highlight this. Click insert. And the first one that we want to use here is this one right here. This is owner name formatted. So we'll click that. And then the next one is the address. So we're going to hit insert merge field again, and this will be mail address. So that one's in there now. Uh, and then city, state, and zip. So what we could do here is just click on insert merge field again. And we're going to say M city, comma, and then M state and then M zip. And by the way, I should also mention if you filtered your list in such a way that there are these occasional separate unit numbers like, you know, apartment 270 or suite 12 or number A or something like that, then you would also want to go ahead and insert another merge field into the address space to make sure it picks up those unit numbers as well. Because if you don't, it may not make it to those particular recipients because they don't have the full address. Another way you can do it is to like manually add these into the address line as well. So you don't have to account for that additional unit field. But if you didn't do that, keep in mind, you'll want to make sure you're adding that additional merge field to uh, pick up that full address. And now this next section over here, we're going to say your property in county like that. And then 
state. And again, in this hypothetical example, we're sending this out to people in Sonoma County, California. So these are the columns I'm using there, and that's the same for every single recipient. And then for parcel number, uh, we've got the APN right there. So we'll go ahead and insert merge field and click APN, just like that. And right here we'd say deer up here to insert merge field. And then again, either owner first name or owner name formatted. I think honestly, if in a perfect world, I would probably just use their first name, not both. But just for this example, we'll try to keep it simple like that. And then property in, again, we're going to do the same thing. County name and the state name. So I'll hit county state period and then we kind of fill out the rest of this stuff down here i actually mention the offer deadline in my real template and again this is not the real thing that i say this is just sort of example language but what i would do is you know somewhere in this last sentence i would just reiterate what the deadline is for them to accept it so wherever that would be we'll just say it's right here we'll click on insert merge field and we'll say expiration date because this is the date at which they can no longer accept my offer anymore if they don't do it by February 5, 2017. And then this right here for name and title, this is gonna be the same on every single letter I send out. So I would literally just type in my name and my title like that. And then I would usually have like an image of my signature, like a JPEG or a PNG file. And I would just insert that picture right here at the bottom. So I could say insert and then grab a picture from file and just make sure it goes right in there. And then moving on over here to the purchase agreement for the date, I would basically do the same thing that I did over on page one, where I do insert offer date. And then for seller, I could just insert the name, mailing address, a city, state, and zip, just like I did right here. Let me just do that exact same thing right in this section. Then for buyer, uh, you're going to put your name and address. This is going to be the same on every single offer you send out. So just go ahead and put in whatever that information is. And right here, I would include language that says something like this in, and then insert again, the county and state. And then for the parcel number, we will go insert merge field and put the APN like that. For the legal description, again, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, depending on the list service you're using, some of them will actually include the full legal description with every single item. So if you have that, you can literally just find that legal description and insert it in there. In this case, another way to do it, just if you wanna make it simpler, is to leave a space and then acres in Sonoma County, California. And for that matter, you could also use the merge fields to fill in that part, it's kind of up to you. For the legal description, all we're going to do is we're going to insert the lot area that we have right here. So we know how many acres each one of these properties is. So we will just say insert merge field and then scroll down here to lot area. And that's all we gotta do. And then for the offer price, we can just highlight this piece here and say insert offer price like that. And then back here, you basically just go through the rest of this document in any place where you see these kinds of brackets to indicate where you need to insert those variable pieces of information. Like for example, in this acceptance section, I insert the expiration date. So I would find wherever that is and then insert merge field and hit the expiration date. And then in the closing date, section there's also an area where I put in the closing deadline so I would find that part of the paragraph and then insert the closing date section as well and then for buyer name this is where I could just type in the name of my company so if it's ABC company LLC just like that and then I could print my name and then my title right here and again, this is all assuming that I am buying this property in the name of an LLC. If you're making offers in the name of just yourself personally as a sole proprietor, then you wouldn't have to include this name. You would simply put your name right there and that's all. And then this over here, I just leave blank so that the seller, if they wanna accept it, they can fill that stuff out. And I've also got instructions down here where people can call me if they want to. And I actually have a pre-recorded voicemail set up if people do do that so that I'm not answering calls at all hours of the day. Uh, and then you can put uh, your mailing address here, your email address there, your fax number, You're basically giving people every possible method to sign this thing and return it back to you if they want to. And keep in mind when you're sending out 
really low offers. It's inevitable that you're going to get a lot of people who think you're crazy and are never going to accept your offer and may very well respond to you with some nasty response. It's just part of the game when you're sending out massive amounts of lowball offers like this. So don't sweat it. That's just going to happen. And that's part of the reason why I do have this voicemail system set up is so that I can just get their message. And if they're mean, I just don't call them back. It's as simple as that. So but yeah, that's uh, that's how you do a mail merge with this particular type of template. Once you've got that done, the next thing you can do is basically go up here and preview the results and take a look at this letter and make sure it's actually showing up correctly. It's pulling the correct information. It's formatted the way you want it to be. So let's go ahead and click on this preview results. And just like that, we can see it's pulling this information from this uh, spreadsheet. And what you can do is you can just scroll through a few of these, or you can even just pick one at random. You just take a look at all this information, you know, the date, the person's name, address, city, state, zip code, parcel number, then move on to the next page, see the date again, parcel number, legal description, offer price, all of this stuff, and just go back and forth between the Excel spreadsheet and this actual letter and just make sure that for one or two or three of them, all the information does line up correctly. There's nothing that's kind of jumping out to you as an error. Just kind of make sure that that's correct. And once you know that, uh, you basically know that you're in business and this thing is ready to go. And once you've gotten this far, the next steps really depend on how you're planning to complete your direct mail campaign. One option, which is by far the least efficient, the most expensive, and the most time consuming is to print all this stuff out yourself, print off envelopes, stuff the envelopes, put stamps on the envelopes, send them out. It'll take you days to do that kind of thing, especially if you're sending out thousands of these. Would not recommend it, but if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to stop you. All you have to do is go over here where it says finish merge and then edit individual documents. And what it's going to do is create a new Word document that includes those two pages for every single lead that you had on your list. So as you can see down here, this new Word document is building itself from that Excel file, and it's gonna continue to do that until you have hundreds and hundreds of these pages. And you can literally go down through every single one of these and make sure they all look exactly right. And once they do, you just have to hit print, and it will literally print out all of those. And you would basically have to do the exact same thing with a batch of envelopes too, and then you could match them up and stuff them and stamp them and get them sent out. And I've done it before. It takes forever to do and you're going to want to pull your hair out by the time you're done. So I would not recommend that. What I would recommend is going with an online mailing service like a couple examples would be click to mail or another one that I know of is called ITI Direct Mail at letterprinting.net. I've used them both. I think they're both good for different types of direct mail and the prices are pretty similar. Similar. When it comes to this particular type of direct mail that involves a mail merge like this, they can both do it, but they work a little bit differently. And in the next video, I'm going to take you through the process of how to get this done. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the service that I prefer to work with. And I'll explain a little bit more about why when we get to that video. So if you want to go to that next step, follow along with me to the next video, and I will show you how to complete the final stage of this process and get your letters sent out the door. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.